In the last video, I introduced you to the reports and tasks. This is where we start today. As mentioned, the reports go through a predefined workflow, which by default has three statuses, namely open, in progress, and close. First of all, I will show you today how you can configure this workflow according to your needs. To do this, I will switch to the linear options and there to the area issues and tasks. Here you can edit the properties used in the reports. On the one hand, you will find the different report types and priorities that can be selected to classify this report. In addition, I can also create statuses here on my own or just existing ones. By default, we find here the three mentioned basic statuses open, in progress and closed. In addition, three statuses for the void planning are already created, but they are also assigned to the basic statuses. So a report with a status proposal is also considered as open, which I can link here in the second column accordingly. The same applies to the status accepted and rejected. When this status is reached, the report is considered as closed because the coordination process is finished for this proposal. So, for example, if the architect has accepted my proposal for a void, no further action is required and the report is closed. Here you now also have the option to create additional statuses. For example, let's generate a review status that prompts another design participant to review a particular situation. In this case, it makes sense to keep the report open until the situation is clarified. In the transitions, I can now define from which status the review is started, as well as to which status the report can transition after the check. I specify here that the report can go from the status in progress to the review, and also name this transition review. After the check, the report can either be closed, since the review was successful, or the report goes back to the open status if adjustments still need to be made and the process loop starts again. Explanations for the taken decisions can be stored in the report by means of screenshots and comments as shown in the previous video. Using these settings, you can define an individual workflow for your project and thus enable a well-organized collaboration. Let's take a look at the report from the last video, which handled a collision between two ventilation ducts. Here, I resolved the collision by creating an offset and also documented this using a screenshot and commentary. Now we have the possibility to have our solutions here reviewed within the new workflow we just created. To do this, I specify the responsible reviewer in the report, let's call him John Doe, and can also optionally specify a date or a project milestone as a deadline. If the reviewer works in the same model, he can directly edit the created report. If this is not the case, I can save the topic containing the report as a BCF file and send it to the responsible person. This person can edit it with any BCF viewer and send it back to us. This allows you to define clear process steps and ensure clear responsibilities. Workflow instead of workaround.